Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate today St. John of the Cross a great teacher and companion in prayer. May his teachings and example inspire us to persevere always in prayer. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. John an outstanding dedication to perfect self-denial, and love of the cross. Grant that by imitating him closely at all times, we may come to contemplate eternally your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. 
Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, there is no other. I form the light and create the darkness. I make well-being and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Let justice descend, O heavens, like dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the skies drop it down. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. Let justice also spring up. I, the Lord, have created this. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens who is God, the designer and maker of the earth who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other, who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old. Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree, and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying, Only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a Savior. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a Savior. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for He proclaims peace to His people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a Savior. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a Savior. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a Savior. Please all stand. Raise your voice and tell the good news. Behold, the Lord God comes with power. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, John summoned two of his disciples 
and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? When the men came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? At that time, Jesus cured many of their diseases, sufferings, and evil spirits. He also granted sight to many who were blind. And Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our first reading today from the book of the prophet Isaiah speaks of the creative power of God as our creator. God's power of creating from nothing to something. God creating light even from darkness. God creating something even from emptiness. That is why in our first reading, God proclaims himself, I am the Lord, there is no other. I am the one who created light even from the void. I am the Lord who created light even from darkness. That is the power, the creative power of God. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, whenever we experience darkness in our lives, remember, God can create light even from the darkness that you experience. Whenever you feel empty, there is emptiness in you, remember that God created something from emptiness. And whenever you feel that you are nothing, remember that God created something even from nothingness. Tandaan po natin mga kapatid, ganyan ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Kaya niyang lumikha galing sa wala. Kaya niyang ayusin kahit nang gagaling man ito sa kaguluhan. Ganyan ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos. And the people also experience this in Jesus. When Jesus regained the sight to the blind, when the deaf were able to hear, when the lame were able to walk, when the sick are cleansed of their sickness, when the dead are even raised, when the poor have the good news proclaimed to them, Jesus proclaimed the creative power of God. From the darkness of blindness, Jesus gave them light. That is the creative power of God. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, today, let us believe that 
God can create something even from our nothingness. God can create fulfillment even from our emptiness. And God can create light even from our darkness. That was the experience of St. John of the Cross. He would always refer to the dark night of the soul when one's prayer and one's relationship with God feels empty and dry and dark. St. John of the Cross persevered in prayer even if it was for him a dark night because he believed that God created light from darkness. God created something from nothing. God created fulfillment even from emptiness. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Mass, let those among us who feel empty, who feel dark, who feel that we are nothing, believe again in faith that God can create something from nothing. God can create light from darkness. Amen. Please stand. We offer our prayers with one heart and mind to the Father who not only forgives sin but also heals the wounds caused by sin. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be a sign of God's mercy, pardon, and forgiveness to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have drifted away from the church through sin may discover the forgiveness of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families who are divided and estranged from one another may be brought together by God's healing love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may receive comfort and hope through our prayers and good works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may now enjoy the light of eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, Help us bring your pardon, forgiveness, and peace to those we meet. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, in commemoration of St. John of the Cross, and grant that we, who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion, may imitate what we now enact. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. John of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who in St. John have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bukas po ay magsisimula na po ang ating pagsisimbang gabi. Dito po sa Manila Cathedral, ang unang gabi po ay gaganapin ng alas otso ng gabi na misa. At gayon naman po, sa madaling araw naman po ng biyernes, ang unang araw ay 4.30 a.m. na pangungunakan ng ating minamakal na arsobispo, Jose Cardinal Advincula. Ang mga oras po ng mga simbang gabi dito sa Manila Cathedral ay 8 p.m. ng gabi at 4.30 a.m. ng madaling araw. Tonight also is our healing rosary for the world and it will be hosted by the Diocesan Shrine and Parish of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Pagsanghan, Laguna as they celebrate also the 10th anniversary of their declaration as the Yosisan Shrine. Let us come together in prayer tonight as we pray the healing rosary for the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Holy Mother of our Savior, let us be Oh, 